And now, WJCL News, working for you. Metro police officers are searching for suspects involved in a shooting this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Chelsea McDonald. Thanks for watching WJCL News. Take a look at this video. Multiple officers search the area between Hodgson Memorial Drive and Abercorn Street for one suspect and possibly another. Officers are looking for a white man believed to be in his mid-twenties. A black man may be with him. Officers are searching for them after a man was shot near Habersham and Stevenson just after four this afternoon. Doctors treated that man. He's expected to be OK. Meanwhile, it's day three of peaceful protests on of West Savannah streets after police shot and killed an armed man. WJCL has been bringing you this story since Thursday morning. And again today, community members took to the streets in a peaceful rally. First, let's bring you up to speed on the latest. Metro Police Officer David Janot is on paid administrative leave while the GBI investigates. The Bureau says 29-year-old Charles Smith was shot and killed while officers were trying to arrest him Thursday morning on Augusta Avenue. Smith was handcuffed behind his back but was able to move his hands to the front of his body and kick out the window of the patrol car. Officers say they saw a gun on Smith and shot and killed him. A firearm was found under Smith's body. The arrest encounter is captured on video. An autopsy was performed on Smith Friday, and the Savannah chapter of National Action Networks is calling for a thorough investigation into this shooting death. A number of peace rallies have followed Thursday's shooting. Saturday's rally was the third one. WJCL's Ashley Lincoln was there and has more. A growing memorial sits adjacent to where Charles Smith was killed. Smith was shot several times by Metro officer David Janot. Police say Smith kicked out the window of a squad car before officer Janot shot and killed him. He didn't deserve to die like that. How can you shot and kill a man in handcuffs? The memorial overlooks what's now turned into the congregation spot for a third peace demonstration since the shooting. We're going to support their right to protest peaceably. But Saturday's demonstration was different. There was no marching, no chanting, just conversations. Organizers say they wanted Saturday to be about communication and discussion on Smith's killing. Mayor Pro Tem Van Johnson describes how leaders have been able to manage rising emotions in the community. It, it, it's, it's, it's lukewarm, I think. Um, you have something that is very, very um, hot, but I think that's tempered by the, the residents here that trust their government, um, trust our ability to um, be very accountable, be very transparent in this process, and make sure that uh, we get it right. Getting it right is what Smith's mother is hoping for. My deal, I'm just taking it one day at a time, but I know I'm not going to let us push this under the rug and cover it up. I want justice for my child. Penny Nelson says although her son had a criminal past, that doesn't represent who her son was. He came home, he changed his life. He's got a five-month-old baby, another one on the way. Nelson says since Thursday's incident, the outpouring from the community has been overwhelming. I'm very appreciative of everything. Like I say, my child was well liked. He wasn't a he was mannerable, he was raised mannerable and with respect, and everyone in the community loved him. Reporting in West Savannah, Ashley Lincoln for WJCL News, working for you. Police officers arrested the suspect, Charles Smith, for six outstanding warrants against him. Those warrants included acquiring a license plate for concealing the identity of a vehicle, failure to stop at a stop sign, reckless driving, failure to obey traffic control device, obstruction of officers, and fleeing to elude. Mayor Jackson has been out in front of this issue since Thursday, and not from City Hall, but from the front lines. Jackson has taken a proactive stance in handling the situation. WJCL's Nick Natario caught up with her to find out why and how it's made a difference. On the Emotions are running high on Savannah's west side. As people laid flowers Friday, some couldn't hold back their feelings. We need answers. They're upset over how 29-year-old Charles Smith was killed. On Thursday, he died after an officer opened fire. He was still in handcuffs, but the Georgia Bureau of Investigation says he moved his hands and went for a gun before an officer opened fire. Afterwards, dozens poured into the street. 
As tensions rose, Savannah Mayor Edna Jackson put herself in front of a frustrated crowd. I'm going to ask everyone to please listen to me. Jackson begged for everyone to be peaceful, and she promised a fair investigation. Words some in the crowd told us they needed to hear. For her to leave a meeting, when I viewed the news last night, she left a meeting to come. I think that meant something to the family. I know that she addressed the mother, she addressed the siblings, and to me that meant something to our community. Sometimes public officials, they don't, they are what you call politicians. Today, we saw the human side of the mayor, and we are very thankful for that. When Mayor Jackson decided to address the crowd right over here Thursday afternoon, she says she did so not because of what happened in Ferguson, but she wanted to talk to her constituents. As an elected official, I have to commit to you to get the right information and not deal in innuendos, what may have been speculated, or what those kinds of things are, and I'm committed to that. On Friday, Jackson continued her human approach. This is not a great day in the city of Savannah. As community members look for answers, Jackson stressed peace. She knows this firsthand. Jackson took part in civil rights marches, and now she's leaning on that experience to help guide her city through this trying time. Oh, what a blessing Ontario WJCL News, working for you. WJCL continuing to track down new details about the officer involved and the suspect. Advanced police officer David Janot is a 10-year veteran of the Metro Police Force. He also has an extensive military history. He is on paid administrative leave right now pending the investigation. WJCL has filed an open records request for all of the personal and professional records of Officer Janot. As for the suspect, Charles Manor Smith, Thursday's shooting happened when police were arresting Smith on six outstanding warrants. He's no stranger to the law. Here's what we've uncovered. Charles Smith has been convicted on crimes including aggravated assault, possession of a firearm, possession of cocaine, and receiving stolen goods. He was just released from prison over a year ago and was on parole. And our coverage continues on WJCL.com. There you'll find more images and videos from the scene and a newly released incident report from the shooting. Also, the entire news conference city leaders held Friday, plus our interview with Savannah Mayor Edna Jackson. It's all there on our website, WJCL.com. Storm Tracker meteorologist Samara Theater is here with a look at your weather. Samara, it was kind of foggy today, but is it going to light up? Well, it was very cloudy. We did have some fog earlier this morning, but things are going to get progressively better. Let's go ahead and take a look right now. That live radar. This is for our people living in Savannah, maybe headed downtown tonight. It's dry out there right now. Exactly what we like to see on our live radar. Let's take a look at those temperatures telling a different story. You know, I walked outside, even though the temps are mild 71, that breeze really is making it feel a little bit nippy to me. We're definitely headed towards fall. Further inland all the way down is 67 in Statesboro, moving towards the south, 70 degrees in Blackshire, up towards Hilton Head, 73 degrees there. And now look at our storm tracker live radar. For much of the area, we are very quiet just off the coast. We have some showers. We will be giving a very in-depth marine forecast tonight, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. Speaking of tonight, in the overnight hours, we will continue to fall to the upper 60s. Some areas even lower, 67 like you saw in Statesboro. Breezy conditions and a chance for rain along the coast. In our storm tracker weather headlines, you're going to want to stay tuned because tonight we are talking about the drier weather, your Sunday day planner and the breezy conditions. That's it for now. Back to you, Chels. Thanks, Samara. Well, coming up on WJCL News, it's called a modern low country hoedown. A festival celebrates the best in southern music. But next, iPhone users. Did you notice an extra free album in your iTunes? Do you love it or hate it? We'll have reaction coming up. Stay tuned. You're watching WJCL News.